I want to give a big thank you to our generation who sent us this entire llama collection. It includes a doll and two llama outfits. Let's take a closer look. We are definitely a house of llama lovers. They add a fun, cute element in decor all around the house, and my daughter even has her entire bedroom llama themed. It's on the walls, the bedding, just everywhere, and it's really, really cute. And there are a lot of fun puns that you can use with llamas. You can even check out her Instagram page. Her handle is Lana Llama. I'll leave that link in the description below. This set is called Llama Lullabies because it is a pajama set and it's a one piece. We like to call these the onesies. It's not footed so it's open at the bottom so your dolls can cover her feetsies with socks or it comes with like these slippers. They're not soft slippers, they're kind of like clogs. They are made of a harder plastic but I think they're supposed to represent house slippers. Still really cute but I think you could also pair these with a regular outfit and the pajamas although there are no llamas on the actual pajamas there are little cactuses and hearts and then you have the zipper so it makes it easier to put on your doll really really cute piece and then of course your little stuffy or your pillow to snuggle as you go to bed it is a llama so cute this complete outfit set is called Alpaca Your Bags because it looks like it's a travel outfit because it comes with this cute little bag. Get it? Alpaca Your Bags. And, oh, I gotta open that. Hold on. Okay, and this bag unzips. Plenty of room inside. Move that. Probably an overnight stay somewhere. It's really cute. I like how it's a solid color, so it kind of goes with any theme. And then the outfit consists of pants, a top, and a little jacket. The top is sleeveless. Look at the llamas on there. Really cute colors. And the back Velcros. I bet my daughter would love to have this outfit in her size. I love the jacket also because it just has two buttons right here. But then it also has this drawstring so you can tighten it once it's on your doll and it is hooded. Really cute colors, and then the jeans have these decals on them. You have the star, Eiffel Tower, and some hearts. I'm surprised that that's not a cactus, though. That would have been really cute to see on there. And then the little shoes that go with them, little slip-ons, and I've had several shoes just like this over my lifetime. I have to say, they are my favorite type of slip-ons really pulls the outfit together and it's really cute. We can put that on a doll and see what it looks like. This is Amelia out of the box. I wanted to call her Amelia, but her name is spelled A-M-A-L-I-A, -A -A, so I think that's pronounced a little bit differently like Amelia. I could be wrong. Leave a comment if you know more about that name. She is a cute little blonde. Love the lips on her. Brown eyes. And her eyes do close. Open close. One thing I love about her hairstyle, it is in simple pigtails. However, it does have a little twist to it, literally. There is a braid right here, just in the front. And I love this braid. I do it on the girls all the time. All you have to do is start your French braid, and then you only pull in while you're braiding from one side. So it looks like they pulled in one, two, three, four times just from the part over, and you don't pull in any new hair from the other side. So that just kind of pulls it over from one side, finish your braid, and then tie it off. So you can pull in from this way, or you can start to pull in this way, and it kind of gives it a crown effect. So I really like that simple hairstyle, but it really does jazz up the pigtails a little bit. She is wearing this button-up dress style shirt, like the shirt dress. The vest does have little llamas on it. It's really, really cute, kind of Western feel to it. Now, it is attached to her dress, but you can just seam rip those little ties and it'll come right off so you can pair this vest with any outfit and vice versa you can use the dress for something else also you can even take this dress and tuck it into some pants if you just need the top to look like a shirt the shoes are cute they are all plastic i want to say they're like the maroon color of the our generation brand they are like a soft plastic though they're not hard 
like most of the other Art Generation shoes. Let me lay her down so I can show you. Let's see, and then these socks. They are high socks. Okay, these are super cute also. I gotta show you these. Let's see if we can get a closer look. Look at the detail in these socks. Like, that's adorable to have that in the socks. So, two thumbs up on these socks because they're super cute. They would look good with high top shoes, but also with some maybe booties or some mid-length boots right there, just so the socks can kind of poke up. And then here's a closer look at the shoe. I think we've seen this shoe mold before, but like, look how soft it is which makes it much easier to put on the doll also. It still has all the detail in the plastic and very, very easy to pop on and off the doll. Look at that, cute. And then of course she does come with undies, which they're purple. I don't know if I've seen purple undies yet. I think I would have remembered that. Yeah, she's got purple undies on. And that's Amelia. She is non-posable, so it's not like you can really bend her arms to hold anything. And when she sits, you still just kind of have to bend her legs to sit like that. Her knees don't bend. I'm a huge fan of the posable Art Generation dolls. They are definitely my favorite. However, I love her cute face mold, her hairstyle, and her outfit is adorable. Look, she looks so sweet. I can't wait to stick her in the llama room. All right, we are heading over now to create that llama room, so be sure to check it out. And if you'd like to see how we pull all these llama things together in a doll bedroom, Check out our Sunshine Sprinkles video where it is all about llamas. I hope it's no prob llama to share a few jokes with you. What did the llama say when he was invited to a picnic? I'll pack a lunch. What do llamas say after a yoga class? Llama say. If you know any other llama jokes or llama puns, leave them in the comments below. Also, be sure to share this video, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Bye.